okay, so here goes. This is my first vlog. It's going to be um, a walking vlog, really, about places that are, that are near to Liverpool that you can get to with an easy reach by the train, bus, or driving, like I just have today. So I'm up in Parbold, just near Bearskull, which is near Ormskirk, just outside Liverpool. Um, just as I'm starting this video now, the sun's just shining for the first time today. So I'm happy about that, grateful for it. I'm out here with my dog. You can see him in the background there. I've got a homemade selfie stick. Made out of a walking stick. A walker's walking stick. Um, and a mobile phone holder out my car. With some um, insulation tape keeping it on. So I've decided to do this today. First one. We're going for a walk up Parbold Hill. Which is a walk I've done a few times over the years. Used to come up here on bike rides when I was a kid. Get the train up to Armskirk and then and ride up here. And uh, I've always loved it up here. That's only a 15 minute drive. And it's like another world. So this is these vlogs are gonna be places that are in and, in and around Liverpool basically. Nice places that you can get up for a walk. Places that a lot of people will already know about. But places that some people won't know about. So these vlogs, if you do already know about Parbold Hill, that's cool, but if you don't, I'm gonna show you how nice it is up here. It only takes 15 minutes to get here. It's a nice place to come. On your own, with your dog like I am today. Come here with your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, or whatever. I'm sure you'll enjoy it anyway. So, here goes. Here's my first one. First vlog, hopefully the first of many. Where's you? Oh yeah, it's still here on this little meadow, Chapel Lane meadow. You can see that in the background there. That used to be a little pond. I remember bringing my son here years ago when he was about three or four to catch tadpoles. We took home and we kept them in, kept them in a little tank. And uh, we decided to feed them bread, or I did. Put bread in the tank with them. And by the next day, all the little tadpoles were dead. So sorry about that, Alfie. See you in a bit. Okay, right, people, we've just came out of this little glen where we started our walk. And it's just brought us out onto this 
lovely little bridge over the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Amazing. Absolutely lovely up here. Look at that view in the background there. Up that hill. It's absolutely amazing. Look how different it is up here though. All right, mate. All right. You all right? Oh, good luck. Yeah, good stuff. Just saying hello to that fella there in the background. So yeah, we're gonna gonna crack on now and get a get a little bit of distance under our belt, or we'll be here all day. See you later. So, just down there in the background, you can see the other canal bridge that I was talking about. So, if you wanted to cut that section of the walk out, what I've just done, you could, at the car park or from Parbo Village, you can get straight onto the canal path. You can follow it down to here, come off there, 
follow this path obviously up to where I'm standing and then through this gate in the background and this takes you up past the quarry to the top of Parbold Hill it's really simple little bit out of breath there I'm unfit but anyway I'm gonna talk anyway just excuse me if I'm panting a little bit I am a little bit out of breath um, so one of the main reasons that I want to do these vlogs videos YouTube videos whatever you want to call them it's all new to me but there's a couple of things that I'm really passionate about and one of them is people suffering in silence with mental health problems which is something that I, I've been doing for most of my life since I was probably 14, 15 and I'm 42 now yeah, there is the quarry here we go Ooh. here's the old quarry we used to come up here on bike rides and stuff and bring a little backpack with butties and all that in. Right, we'll go down and sit in here and we'll have a little chat. So, so mental health, I'm 42 and I've been suffering with serious mental health since I was 15. Depression, anxiety, um, that's how it started. And it's led into other things, but uh, and I've recently found out um, a lot of it is through having uh, ADHD, undiagnosed ADHD. Now, uh, some people who are listening to this might think, oh, you know, well, I don't know what people's views are. I'm just, it's not enough for me to, th to think or to say, but. You know, people I've spoke to over the years. You know, does it, does it, um, what's the word I'm looking for? People assume it's, uh, it's young hyperactive kids who are like naughty children, hyperactive, bad parenting, things like that. Too much sugar that these kids, that that's what the problem is with them, that these young kids who've got ADHD. Well, them things obviously are part of the problem and they don't help if a young child has got ADHD and the, you know, the home environment is not the best maybe the parents, or maybe one of the parents has got ADHD and they're not coping very well and you know, the child's got it too these children that people look down upon and think that they're less than these poor children are suffering and when they act out, when they get hyperactive, when they be naughty, when they, you know, flip a table over in school, run out of a classroom, maybe not even run out of school. That's just born out of frustration. That moment that they're in, it's that uncomfortable for them. That, that's how they express themselves, that's how, that's how they act out. But really, all they're looking for, they're crying out for help. They're just crying out for help. Um, sorry for the interruption there. Um, I'm doing it on an old phone. And I've got to use my earphones for the microphone because the microphone... Sorry about that. Run out of storage on my phone. I have to take my jacket off. I'm sweating there. Um, so, what I was saying, yeah, these, uh, a lot of these kids with ADHD. So what's happening? 
a lot of a lot of children are slipping through the net as kids and they're going into adulthood with these mental health problems this ADHD turns into depression anxiety which takes them into into drug use and addiction and crime in all forms lots of lots of different things now along with that I'm 42 and in, I was 42 in January and on the 16th of January I was diagnosed with having ADHD a form of just three different types of ADHD I've got one type of it um, whereas I'd get up in the morning and by 10 o'clock, by 10am in the morning I'd have had more thoughts going through my head in them few hours since I've been up than what your average person would have all day which just le le used to leave me mentally and physically exhausted and it drove me to near suicide and even worse mental health problems but I kept fighting and the reason I'm out here now today is to show that if I can come through it anyone who's struggling struggling because of the coronavirus being stuck in or you're just struggling anyway with mental health struggling in general if you're from Liverpool or you're from anywhere open your Google Maps get outside the city look for a bit of green space get yourself up if you've got a car get in the car and drive 10-15 minutes out. Right, sorry about the break there, I ran out of uh, storage on my phone but uh, I was having a rant about people with mental health problems and kids with ADHD and stuff like that but I'm going to talk, I'm gonna talk about that in, in another video so I'm sorry to end, end it like that but um, I'm going to I'm gonna have to end this in a minute because it's going to stop but um, I just want to touch on something else that's going on at the moment in the world which is Black Lives Matter well, yeah, Black Lives Matter, of course they do. What's going on, you know, what's been going on with the problems in the world with race for hundreds and hundreds of years? It should have all stopped when... It should have all stopped when, when slavery was abolished, but it never, for some reason. It, it's still going on now. But what I'm, what I'm going to say now is I'm with, I'm with, I'm with it, I'm with Black Lives Matter. But I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. All lives matter. Whether you're black, white, whatever, doesn't matter. Whether you're sound-minded, whether you're not, whether you're young, whether you're old, whether you're black, whether you're white, doesn't matter. All lives matter. So here we are, out of breath again, just getting to the top of Parbo Hill. And look what I can see in the background. Can you see that? It's an icy van. Gonna go and get myself an ice cream, find the bench to sit down on, check back in with you. So here we are on our way down, nearly at the bottom now, from the top of Parvo Hill. Coming along past that, that railway line that we've seen earlier over a little bridge. And then at the bottom of the path down here, it brings us over another little bridge onto the canal. So we're going to follow the canal back along to near the main road where we started. So oh, here we are, back on the canal. Um, so I'd just like to say, um, so this is my first, first video. Hello there, sorry I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of nice ladies in the background there, say hello. Hello. Yeah, met lots of nice people today, lovely little place. And uh, this is just, this is no show, it's not fake, it's just me being me. So I hope you like it, if you do, like it. 
Um, leave a little comment if I've touched on anything that you know today that I've spoke about that you want to talk about or leave a comment about or you don't agree with just leave a comment and I'll get back to you thanks bye so I was going to end my video there just when, when I've just just a minute ago and I'm sorry that I turned it off because just as I turned it off five lads about I don't know about 20 or something on mountain bikes come riding along with a ghetto blaster or something strapped, strapped to one of the, the, the handlebars of one of the bikes proper disturbing the piece down the air down the canal and um, they seem nice enough like but they were you know what you can only describe as being a scouser what you can only describe as wolves proper proper wolves from St. Helens or Wigan or somewhere but they were all good all cool I'm down with the wolves see you later so that's it, at the end of the walk, back at the car park where it started and I'd just like to show you my homemade selfie stick. You can see that there. We assume they'll be available on Amazon as a little kit, a little DIY kit that you can make yourself. Ha, <laughs> only messing. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.